Hao Ma. Today, we're going to focus on fusion as I use the best of the West to create a five-star feast of the East. You know what? When I go out to hotels to have receptions and parties, always have shrimp cocktail. And the shrimp always chew my jaws off. So I decided to cook something I like, yet it is very easy to eat that you don't have to chew your jaws off. Cool shrimp with a chili dipping sauce. How's that sound? Yeah. Huh? Now, the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to get my shrimp. Always make sure safety, okay? Make sure things that should be refrigerated, you should keep in the refrigerator, okay? Most important thing is, I want to teach everybody, once again, how to say shrimp in Chinese. How to say it? Ha! ha. ha. <laughs> say it with commitment and infusion. Ha! ha. And then... And then, <laughs> ha, ha, and ha, 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 ha. <laughs> now I want to show you, first you got to sh sh shell it, right? Now there's a lot of ways that you can do it. If you want to, I want to keep the tail intact, you see? I want to keep the tail intact. When you want to keep the tail intact, you start from this end. Hold on to this, grab this, and push this, and push this, one, and twice. And this, you know what? The just twice the whole thing comes out. Look at that. Don't throw this away. Keep this, and you know what you're going to do? You're going to use this to make soup stock with shrimp. So I'm going to save it for my mother. My mother never throw anything away. The next thing you do is you butterfly. You butterfly this. You, why you butterfly? Because you want to devein it. Now this is nice and clean. Okay? You do the same thing. This time, I'm going to do it very fast. Oh, hold on to this one, hold on to this, and the whole thing comes out like this. Hop. The whole thing comes out very, very fast, okay? And then, once again, butterfly, okay? Butterfly. You know that when I butterfly, I either butterfly just right here, or I can butterfly through the whole thing. You know why I do that? Because this one, I just butterfly here. And this is why, how they normally do the shrimp cocktail. But this one will make it Asian style, east and west. Look at this, the little hole here. And then I push this inside out. You know what? Because I want to have a little rabbit like that. Look how cute. A uh, little moving rabbit. Look at that. Uh, now, the next thing I want to show you is how to make the sauce to cook this. You know what? Normally when you just cook in a boiling water, it's tasteless. Okay? Just the dipping sauce is never good enough. So what I'm going to do is we're going to poach the, uh, poach the shrimp in a very special sauce. This I call the poaching liquid. Pansu sauce, very popular Japanese style uh, seasoning. Basically, it's a citrus. Let me show you. Pansu sauce is actually soy sauce, tiny bit of wine, sweet rye, rice wine, and lemon zest, and a tiny bit of green onion and sugar. And this, I put a tiny bit of pansu sauce here. This is a citrus. Ah, tiny bit of wine. Oh, I love to get this drunk, drunken cool shrimp. This is so cool. Got intoxicated. And then I put a tiny bit of fish sauce because it's seafood. Ah, tiny bit of fish sauce. And then, to enhance the flavor, tiny bit of ginger, a couple of slices of ginger. And then I poach this. Now, chopstick is a very, very good. 5G, everybody, chopstick, 5G. 5G. Yeah, and I poach this, okay? It doesn't take too long to do it. Why I'm poaching this, okay? I'm gonna actually cover this up. And now, we're gonna make the chili dipping sauce for the cool shrimp. First, we'll get some, this is not enough mayo, so I wanna make a little bit, get a little bit more in the fridge, okay? Get some mayonnaise right here. Make sure you keep everything refrigerated, okay? I am full of energy, because I'm anticipating this wonderful cool shrimp with a very spicy chili dipping sauce. It's gonna shoot up the roof. <laughs> oh boy, this is amazing. Okay, this is good. Besides this, I want to have nice flavor. Rice wine, this is Japanese rice wine. Smells really good. Not as acidic as the regular one. Sweet chili sauce. You see this? I want to get some sweetness and some chili. And then, ooh, chili garlic sauce. I love it. How many of you like chili garlic sauce? Okay, hot lip, very hot lip, eh, no lip. And then a tiny bit of, I want to have some rich color. So tiny bit of soy sauce. And then I mix them all up. 
and use it as a dipping sauce. Look at this. Look at how beautiful this is. In the meantime, I think the shrimp is ready. I'll shut it off, and now I'm going to cool it down, okay? Cool it down with some ice. Okay. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Cool it down with some ice. In the meantime, mix my simple and delicious recipe for duck. After you drain your shrimp, make sure you put the shrimp in the fridge and ready to be served. This is our Asian cool shrimp with a chili dipping sauce. Now how about do some garnish? I have some wonderful pickle ginger right over here. Sprinkle a tiny bit of these all over the place. This is chopped green onion. You know what? We're going to take it over there and let our guests taste some of these and see how they like it. Pass it around and enjoy. And enjoy. In the meantime, tell me whether you like it or not. You know what? The next thing I want to do is, I'm going to do sears. Walk sear or pan sear, five spice duck breast with a snow pea and watercress over the salad. This is going to be wonderful, okay? The first thing you do is, you go to the store for quick and easy. Nowadays, you don't have to buy the whole duck. You buy duck breast like this, you see? Boneless duck breast, you can buy them in a the store. And then you can take it home and put it in the freezer. And you, when you're ready, you just do it. And you use a knife, and I score this. One, two, three, four, five. You see, I just kind of scored it. You know why? Because duck breast, all I have to do is, I want to make sure I pan fry this and get rid of some of the oil and slightly cook it a little bit. And tiny bit of salt, mm, tiny bit of salt. Five spice powder. Oh, that's what makes it. Everybody say five spice powder. Five spice powder. Mm fan. Mm mm means five, okay? And then also, now I'm gonna pass it around too, okay? So everybody can taste it a little bit. Pass it around. Smell it. Five spice powder. Mm -hmm. All kind of stuff. And then in the meantime, we're gonna pan fry this. You don't even have to use oil because it's non-stick, but I only put a few drops of oil. And I'm gonna put it over here, and then you know what? I put this side down first, and I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna pan fry this, okay? Make sure you pan fry this until they're nice and golden brown, okay? In the meantime, I'm gonna make the salad that go with this duck breast, five spice flavored duck breast. You know what? I know everybody in North America and around the world are health conscious, diet conscious, always have salad. How many of you have salad? all the time. You see? How many of you have salad three times a day? Nobody. <laughs> Randy is only one. Randy, you come up here. You know, Randy have salad three times a day. Are you telling the truth? Yes. Sometimes. Yes, yeah. you're telling the truth. Now, you know, I have some watercress here. Also watercress, this is organic. And this is the regular watercress. They normally grow in mud or I mean in, in a little pond or water. And this is napa cabbage. I'm gonna cut up some napa cabbage. Oh, here I have some snow pea. I'm gonna quickly show you how to do the snow pea. You use the little paring knife, you trim this a little bit and you could, let's see this. You turn it to the other side and you go to the other side and you go like this, okay? You see this? And then after you finish, you use your knife, cut it, at an angle like this. This is how you do it, okay? Right. And then, now this is it. And then, for watercress, do me a favor. I want just the leaf, okay? I just want the leaf. The same thing for this, I just want the leaf, okay? And do me a favor, when it's done, let's put this you in want, a bowl, in a big that? bowl right here. In a big bowl right here. Oh, do enough, so we're enough of you and I, okay? In All the right. meantime, I think this is looking good. Wow, look at this, beautiful. Look at that, you know? This is going to be really nice, and after that, we're going to have to put it in the oven. In the meantime, let's taste the, the difference between, oh, Randy, taste the difference between this one and the organic one. It's very, very different. One is much stronger, more, um, huh? interesting, huh? Mm -hmm. very I pepper. like this, it's very good. A little more peppery. Yeah, more peppery, and this less peppery. Mm -hmm. And this is what I was growing. You know, the Chinese, they use this for salad, they use it for soup, they stir fry, they do all kinds of things, okay? Let's put this over here. And then, in the meantime, we're gonna, almost ready. 
Whoa, it's looking good. Look at how beautiful. Everybody look, look at this. This is beautiful. It's golden brown on the side. Look, it's unbelievable. This is what you want to do. Nice and golden brown, okay? And then, this is it. One, two, and, and uh, I, I, I know that you said that if you are doing it every day, if you do it like this, it would take about... Take a bunch off. About, you know what? <laughs> if I were you, I would just, just go, aha! Uh -huh, this is all you need to do! You see? That's is what quick and easy is all about. Otherwise, you're creating slow and difficult. <laughs> oh, amazing. And, and then, it's okay to put the stems in. Yeah. No, well, a tiny bit. Because I want... Because the stem also have a little... In the meantime, I'm going to make the quick dressing, okay? okay. balsamic vinegar. Or you can use, you know what? You can use balsamic vinegar. This is Chinese Jinjiang vinegar. And I have soy sauce. Ah, I have soy sauce. And I have sesame seed oil. Ah, and then I have a tiny bit of either salt and uh, honey. You like honey? Love oh, you, If you don't have honey, you can, you know what? You can, you, you can use sugar. And this is our Asian dressing, and I love it. Okay? In the meantime, I am going to put this, I'm going to put this in. Ah. Uh, the oven. Next, Randy and I will cook again. Asian pear with a little fire. <laughs> Randy and I are doing east and west. East and west we're doing what we're doing. Cool shrimp. How do you like the cool shrimp with the chili dipping sauce? They love it. <laughs> and you can make it home very, very simple. Everybody can make it at home. Okay, I'm going to cut to some Napa cabbage. And you know what? I know that, Randy, you can cut faster than me. And then I'm going to put it all over here. Perfect. For color contrast, I happen to have in the fridge, I also happen to find some carrot, shredded carrot. So this way, we're going to make this. Let's toss it in. Now you toss it in, and I'll give you some salad dressing. Beautiful. Look at this. This is very easy to do. Then when the duck is ready, the duck is being cooked right there in the oven. Sear five spicy duck breast in the oven, being cooked. That's and then of course, we're gonna get ready to do another dish called caramelized Asian pears on coconut ice cream. A lot of coconut. This is looking good. It smells wonderful. Okay, that's wonderful. good. In the meantime, do me a favor, Randy. Let's get yep. some pears. This is Asian. Right. This is a lot, look, look at this. Some aju, red aju. This is, Korean pear, Japanese Korean pear, and this is Chinese pear. And this is very juicy, crispy, crunchy, succulent. I'm gonna put this over here to, just to show you how beautiful this is, okay? Look at this. This is the salad. We're gonna put it in nice and colorful. And this is gonna be beautiful, okay? We're gonna put the ducks right on top once it's sliced. And this is gonna be wonderful. The salad is getting ready. The pear is getting being inside. And then we're gonna toast the coconut. Because we're gonna serve these with the coconut ice cream. Shredded coconut. You can buy coconut and you crack them, you can slice them, you can do these are the sliced ones, okay? And this are the desiccated one, and we toast it until nice and golden brown, okay? Do you use the milk in there too? Uh, the coconut no, milk? because because I just want to give that nice coconut flavor and also give that caramelized look to it, okay? And then, when this is all nice and getting ready, and I'm gonna check, and I'm gonna check my duck again. Let me check my duck and check it out, okay? The duck is looking good. <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't realize this pear is very, very good. Taste the pear. Let's taste the pear. Wait. Mm, it's good? sweet. Sweet, juicy, and succulent. It's amazing, okay? I'm gonna toss this. Oh, and the nice salad thing. is ready. You know what? You, do, you want to make sure when you toss this, no oil, no milk. And use medium heat until they are nice and lightly golden brown. And can you smell the coconut? It smells so good. Coconut, yeah, gee, everybody, yeah, gee. Yeah, gee, yeah, it's coconut, okay? Oh, beautiful. Nice and golden brown. In the meantime, we want to get everything else ready. The salad is ready. The oh, you know what? Let us take this over there and let them taste it, okay? Pass it to the audience so everybody taste it. Everybody try it because you have never seen, it's tried so this sweet. before. This is so good. 
Whoa, smells good. I think the duck is ready. Smells, everybody can smell it, right? Randy, you come over and smell it. It's so good. Come and smell it. Mmm, feel it nice? You let it rest oh, so when you wonderful. cut it, the juice won't come out. In the meantime, Randy and I will finish this quick and easy East Miss West dishes. Ice and golden brown. Mmm, smell it. Delicious, wow. Toasted coconut, wonderful. I'm gonna use this to make caramelized Asian pear over coconut ice cream. Why I'm getting all this ready. You what asked inspired me, you to make this kind of a dish? You know, Chinese don't normally serve dessert. When I was visiting a New Orleans recently, I tried banana foster. This is mm. what it is, this is an Asian banana foster. Except I couldn't find any banana, so I used pear. Oh. So in the meantime, <laughs> Uh, Randy, do me a favor. Let's get the ice cream, the coconut ice cream ready. In the meantime, I'm going to put this uh, butter right here, okay? Put it right here. Can you Tiny use any other ice cream other than Yeah, yeah, coconut? you can use lychee ice cream to make lychee uh, foster, lychee ice cream foster. Put with sugar, kind of sugar. And then I'm make sure you put this in, okay? I don't want to burn my butter, okay? Put the pear right here, okay? Mmm, beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. In the meantime, our duck is getting ready to be sliced. Beautiful. Make sure you use the right heat. You don't want to burn it, okay? Mm, this is going to be... You want to make sure you melt the brown sugar, too, so it's nice and soft. Can you do use different kinds of alcohol in it? Or yeah, it you can use rum? different alcohol. You can use rum, you can use vodka, you can use all kinds of things. I use uh, Chinese, uh, you can use plum wine if you want, oh, but if you want a plum bay. You know what? Besides the coconut ice cream, you can also have lychee ice cream, durian ice cream, all oh. kinds of ice cream. Okay? Oh, this is going to be good. Make sure this is cooked properly. And then, ah, let us see whether we can plum bay. Okay? Make sure. Oh, this is amazing, huh? Uh, you know, look at this. Now, talking about, talking about food, if you happen to have time, Randy, take a look at this. I'm going to show you this. This is jackfruit. Let me show you. Pass it around and take a look at this. This is jackfruit. You can buy the jackfruit. This is, when you cut it open, you can actually eat like this. This is a piece of jackfruit that you can eat like this. Ah, uh, like a, a, a this. <laughs> Taste it's it. It's very sweet. nice. It's very nice and sweet. Oh, oh this it's is delicious. So, it's very good. And then you know what? You can buy them in cans. Okay? Because I love rum. So this way, I use a tiny bit more. Whoa, this is from Bay. Okay? When this is all nice and ready, we're going to put this over the ice cream. Okay? Put over the ice cream and oh, I'm going to taste it. Look can at this. Can you only use fresh coconut or could oh. you use... You coconut know, that wasn't fresh coconut is much better. It smells better. Okay, we'll get a spoon, okay? Get a spoon from here. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna scoop this. Scoop this right over here. Look at how beautiful this is, okay? Look at this, it's absolutely gorgeous. And this is oh. wonderful. Mmm. Look at this, huh? Everybody can enjoy this dessert. Look at this. You can still smell the alcohol. Oh. And then after that, you garnish a little bit. Look how beautiful. Hmm? Look how beautiful this is. And I would like to ask you to do me a favor. Take this over there and share with somebody, okay? Share in the meantime, we're gonna garnish with some extra coconut. You remember the coconut we have here? Oh, look at this. Look oh, at this. Ah, here. look at this. This is toasted coconut, toasted coconut. And let us take it over there, and then we can finish our salad, okay? Now, here is a duck that is still very, very hot, okay? I'm going to cut this up. Look how beautiful this is. Thank you so much, Randy. Let's give Randy a round of applause, ah! Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Cut it up, cut it up, and cut it up. And you know what? Look at how beautiful you can do it, okay? Slice this beautiful duck. Look at how beautiful this is. Unbelievable. Just the right amount. And then garnish it 
a little bit, garnish it a little bit. Look at how beautiful this is. This is our duck salad. And you know what? This is our duck salad. But you know what? Never forget your first cool shrimp with a chili dipping sauce right here. Ah, look at that. Amazing. Can you see that? This is what you call East meets West. This is also East meets West. This is West e meets East. Everything is East meets West, West meets, it's a wonderful confusion. <laughs> Remember, if Yen can take the confusion out of fusion, so can you. Jajen. I'm walking along the south shore of Chongqing. A few feet away is a famous Yangtze River. Here on the south shore, you can enjoy a free concert while you dine outdoors on some of the best food in Sichuan. Everybody knows in China, this is the fact. You long look for beautiful women, you come to the province of Sichuan because the weather, the water, and particularly the food produce a lot of beautiful people, particularly young ladies. And here with me is three beautiful young ladies from the province of Sichuan, Chongqing. Yeah. This is uh, what I call the um, pickle vegetable banquet. Everything is prepared with pickle. After this delicious banquet, I'm going to ask for permission to go into the kitchen and have Chef Lee, the master chef, to show me how to do all of these wonderful things. Hey, I saw two big urns. This is not for your flowers. It's an oven. Inside there's a lot of little soup pot in clay pot. One of these is called for our dinner tonight on our table. Look at this. Whoa, look at this. The whole fish. Fish head, the fins, the spine, the fish fillet. And then you take it over there and steam it for eight minutes. Now out the eight minutes. It's all done. Ready to be final touch. Green, green and red chili. It is so hard it sizzles. Ah, how about a second dish, also with a lot of pickle? Oh, this pickle vegetable, this pickle mustard green. And then what you do is, you slice it all up, like this. Pickle chili, beef, stir-fried beef. Now this is how the Sichuan chef at home, they how they pickle, frying water. There's a water seal here, that's totally sealed. And then you're ready to go. Beef back. Chili oil. Ah, this is the dish. And this is the life here in Sichuan. The days may be hot, but when the sun goes down, that's when things really get hot and spicy. <laughs> <laughs>